Hey, you little sweetie pies, get ready for another episode of Squishy Poppin' and Choppin'. Rats now. Bubble eyes, stars, like a remote, a remote. What's going on? Hey, little bubble team. So, right here on my chopping block, we have so many different things, super random. None of them really match or go together. There's not really a theme going on this year. <laughs> Crazy things. Oh, you like definitely don't have a theme going on right now? This is insanity. I see a Furby. I see a clicker. I see a stingray. I see. Fruit egg. Show me it. So let's take a look at what we got. We got some homemades. We got some stingray. We even have a squishy clicker. This is so, so crazy. It's kind of like a spongy material, but it's so, so cool. I'm wondering what is going to be inside. If it's like a memory foam. That looks so, so real. I just cannot get over it. Oh, it like better not be real because if you start chopping into this, you're going to get electrocuted. For reals. So we got the clicker, we got this crazy little stingray. Now a little story about this thing, when I bought it, it was this big. It was the size of a quarter. I kept it in like a big bowl of water for about a week and voila, we get this big old crazy thing. And the funny thing about this, it looks so, so real. It's squishy, it's kind of slimy. Gonna chop on into it and see what we find. Oh, this stingray has crazy eyes, looking both ways, gross. And like, don't even get me started on the tail. It looks poisonous and like, gross. So gross. The rest of the squisharoos on this table are courtesy of Colleen. She dropped them off this morning as usual. I think she makes them at night. She always drops them off in the morning. And we got this yellow one here. Ooh, which one's weird. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's super weird. We have a little Furby Squish. I've had tons of these before. Never a pink one. And I think she did something to it. Ooh, I think she put something in here. You better chop that little furry thing, and you better, like, chop this lumpy, bumpy, homemade stress ball. Ooh, looks like it's got grapes, or Orbeez, or, like, something else. I don't know, it's, it's crazy. And we got these cutesy little eggs. Look how cute they are. I don't know why they remind me of Shopkeys. We got like a little apple, a pineapple. Ooh, what are these grapes? So cute. The strawberry bubble. How adorbs is that? It's got little seeds. Well, I don't know what she put in here. They're definitely a little bit heavy. We're gonna check those out. She's been making these surprise eggs lately. Love them. Squishy Jimmy's, no time to waste. We gotta get poppin' and choppin' right now. Squishy choppin' time. Oh, it is time, everybody. My favorite part of the day. And just like I always say, if you're ever gonna do this at home, make sure you have an adult or parent supervising. I don't know what's in these little squishies. The shishies can be sharp. Let's do this. Bubble, I like squishy dare you to do this. I squishy dare you to chop up all the squishy stuff. Do it. Here you go, Bubble. And the first one on your squishy chopping block is a super weird squishy one in a yellow balloon. Good luck. First one up, we got a Colleen homemade little squishy stress ball. And this thing, oh, it's in a yellow balloon. Kind of looks blue, but it has a crazy squish. I feel something in the middle. Let's pop it. Let's pop it and chop it. Bobble. We got some blue something popping out of the yellow balloon. We saw us. Oh, I knew it was blue. I could kind of see the blue through there. Ooh, I don't know why. It reminds me of like a Smurf color. So we got this blue. Oh, it's so, so cute. This glitter slime. I feel something else. I didn't get a clean cut on this one. Ooh. What is that? I don't know, like an you know, old plastic baggy bubble. It looks like a keychain or something. What else you got in here? Wait. Ooh, you got another one. Looks like a heart. Uh, so far, I got this blue slime. I'm pulling out these little baggies. I don't know, they look like keychains. I do not know. Colleen's been putting the cutest stuff lately. I feel something else. Ooh. Okay, Bubba, so I have a chest the situation. Right here, we have some amazing blue slime with sparkles. Looks like the ocean. We also have three plastic bags of some type of surprise. Open it. Ooh, I cannot wait to see what these are. They look like these adorable little keychains. Too, too cute. Let's take a look at this first. Unbelievable. Every day Colleen keeps making these. She's making them cuter and cuter. And something tells me she got these in Japan. I don't know why. So, so cute. 
Oh, do you know who that is? That is Marie. I think that is Minnie Mouse's cat. Look, it says Marie and like a little keychain heart. That's adorable. It's too cute for words. This is too, too cute. Look, it looks like a little perfume bottle. It's got that little cat on it. How amazing. I think she's giving me every single keychain she got over there on her vacation. I love that. Next one. What's this gonna be? Bella, look who it is. You got Chip and Dale. Little Chip and Dale, unlike little apples. And then, it says Chip and Dale. That's so cute. Look at that. No way. These are Disney. Maybe she got them in like Tokyo Disney. Look how cute this is. We get the little Chip and Dale. I don't know if these are supposed to be apples or like little bottles. <gasps> Those are too cute for words. And then you get this little piece. It has like these little stones. It's just Chip and Dale on there. Really, really cute. Look at this one. Oh, well, this is going to be the best one because look, look, look. She's the most famous mouse on your planet. We got Mickey Mouse. No, look at this one, you guys. This one is Mickey. It's actually the Mickey ears with like that sorcerer hat. <gasps> so cute. It says Mickey Mouse. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it has these tiny little blue stones. That is the cutest touch. These are adorable. I am putting these on my purse. I got about 900 keychains hanging from there. And I'm adding these to it. So adorbs. Love those. I love those even more than you, Bubble. But now we got to deal with this blue sparkle ocean slime. Looks like the ocean. Is it homemade or what? Love it. Here's another little close-up of these adorable little keychains or charms, whatever they're supposed to be. Oh, they just are so detailed, so cute. Little Chippendale. And Mickey. I think my favorite is this one with these two little apples. Just love it. But they're all super cute. Seriously, for like a homemade stress ball, it doesn't get better than this. Beautiful slime, beautiful keychain charms. Love it. Remote control! Oh no! Oh, I cannot believe you have a remote control on your squishy chopping block. This is so strange. We to pass beyond to squishy number two. It is a squishy clicker, a remote control, whatever you want to call it. I mean, this thing looks exactly like my real one. It's just real down to the buttons. It's got cable, VCR, all those crazy little buttons. It's just way too realistic. And if you look at this thing, it looks like plastic. It doesn't look like foam or squishy at all. Ooh, you could bend it. <laughs> you could play like a practical joke with this thing. Oh, you can like go up to your brother or sister and say I can bend a remote. And you can't. Sure, funny. <laughs> Nothing left to do but chop into this baby. Good thing it's not electrical. I know it's gonna be like a foam. I'm just curious if it's gonna be black or white or red. What kind of color is gonna be in here? Yes, she. Ooh, it's crunchy. No. <laughs> Plain old white koa foam. Bubble, when you look at it from this angle, it literally looks like an ice cream sandwich or like a dump bar. Looks like ice cream. But then you flip it and like it's so, it's so electrical. I thought it was going to be something else, some other color, some crazy color and shot. Nope, it's just that koa foam. I guess they put like some paint or some kind of sticker on the outside. But those buttons look so, so crazy. Look so real. Let's just chop this thing up. All the crunchy crunch on this thing is just like too cool for words. So cool. I love it. Look at this piece. Chop. So nice. RIP, little squishy remote control. It was nice knowing ya. Move along. Oh no, it's a pink furby with pink eyeshadow and yellow eyes. So weird. Next up, we got this beautiful little furby. This little furby is so, so cute. I think I've had a purple, I've had a green, maybe a blue one, but this is my first top pink. So, so cute. And Colleen brought this over. I know she did something. Ooh. Looks a little like throw up. <laughs> oh, Bubba, you don't think she put throw up in here? Hope not. Hope not. Oh, stop doing that to the furby. You're gonna hurt it. 
Alrighty guys, I squished it around. I don't know what's in there, but I feel something, I don't know, it's super slimy. It's not even like a, a putty or a slime. Yeah, she brought you the fur but now. Ooh! Bubble, bubble the Furby is like throwing up poo-poo. It's throwing up poo-poo or like, like, poo-poo. <laughs> you guys, ew, this stuff smells so, so bad, but not only that, it's so crazy. One of those little lighting devices popped out. I did not even feel that. I don't know if it works. I doubt it. Oh, yes. It works. Bubble is sorry if this lighting device works through all of the poopy Furby vomit. It's a miracle. It is a Furby miracle. Whoosh. This little device is literally lighting up your table. Oh, ew, I'm so I literally want to vomit. I have this stuff all over my hands. Look at the Furby here. Oh, it kind of looks like pudding, but it smells super bad. Maybe it's like a gravy. I don't know. Disgusting. Bubble, this is literally beyond disgusting. I mean, this thing is beautiful and was lighting up your table, but this, this is a disaster. It's a Furby disaster. I gotta get this cleaned up. I gotta get rid of this furbster. I usually like these furby ones, but this one was, oh, disgusting. I can't take it. Let me chop it up a little bit. Light it up. And move along. So bad. Bonnie should seriously be ashamed of herself for doing this to a furby and to your table and to your hands. She's not your friend anymore. It's like turkey gravy or something. It's like turkey gravy. Disgusting. Bubble Teenies, right from the ocean, direct to Bubble's chopping block. We got your stingray. A squishy one, a mean one. It's so gross. Oh no, it's a stingray right on the chopping block. Oh, I do not like these things. I don't like them, especially when you go to Florida and you're swimming around. There's billions of them. They got that little prickly tail. They are super gross. And this one right here, oh, it looks so, so real. It looks so, so real. It looks like a little baby ray. Oh, this looks like a little stingray from like Tampa, Florida. Seriously. I seriously cannot stand the way it's looking at you with that little eyeball and that pointed tail. I got to chop it, Bubba. I got to do it. Ugh. I got to chop off that tail. It's like, it's like indestructible. Look at that. I can't even break through. Oh, this thing is so, so slimy. It's got such a scaly texture. I've actually touched a real stingray. It feels so, so similar. But I think it's like that Orbeez kind of jelly material. Yeah, she actually chopped that eyeball. Bubble, Bubble, you got the eye of the stingray. Here is the eye of the stingray, and it looks like a piece of pineapple or something. Looks like pineapple. Kind of funny, I chopped open a crab like this the other day, one of those grow crabs. And to tell you the truth, it's the same stuff inside. It is this yellow kind of jelly stuff. Nothing too special, but it's super fun to chop it up. <laughs> it feels like I'm cutting a piece of fish. Bubble, this legit feels like we are filleting right now. It feels like we're filleting a piece of fish, and that looks like that looks like a hash brown from McDonald's or something. So bad. We're gonna have stingray soup for dinner. Put a little salt and pepper. Look at that. Looks like potato. Let's get back to this tail. What are you looking at, stingray? Don't look at Bubble. Chop off your eyeball. And I'll chop off the rest of you too. Because stingrays are no goodsy. They're no goodsy. Especially on Bubble's chopping block. We don't need you here. Look like a pineapple. Uh, <laughs> insanity. This thing was chaos. I chopped it up into a billion pieces. It just has like a jelly kind of like, I don't know, like a Vaseline feel. I don't know what that's all about, but it's super gross. Let's move along. Bubble, that last one got on my nerves so much. I need to come down. I need to relax a little. Let me poke the blue, the blue sparkle slime. Okay, I'm good. Hey, little squishy babes. Next up, we got these four little Colleen surprise eggs. They are so cute. They look like little fruits. They almost look like Shopkins. So cute. Bubble, these things are cuter than cute. They're like fruit eggs. Fruit eggs. Ridiculous see what you put in here. I'm so curious. They are heavy. Hope it's something squished because these are plastic. Yes, I knew it. Ooh, we got some glitter putty. Bubble, thank you for 
Thank goodness. Thank goodness she put something squishy in here. Because why did she bring plastic eggs to the squishy show? She crazy? But now I get it. And this smells like apple. Can you believe it? It's like glittery and scented. It's unreal. We got some glittery apple scented putty and the little apple. I think it's an apple. Maybe it's like a grape. But we got the purple grapes right here. Ooh, it's got a bubble. Totally rad bubble. Some more scented grape scented putty. This isn't slime, it's, it's liquid glass putty. Look at that. It's clear. It smells so good. That veggie pineapple egg is going to have yellow pineapple scented slime. Or putty. Oh, yes. Ooh. That's beautiful. So tropical. It smells like coconut. And the final, oh, I am loving these. Not only, I don't know if she bought these with the slime in it or she put the putty in there, but they are so, so adorable. Look at those little faces. And I've been saving this for last. The strawberry is so cute. This looks like a watermelon. Ooh, this one's a little different. Ooh, I like it. Oh, well, that's weird. Like, why is this one different? These are clear and glittery, and this is like, this is like flop. Look at these things, they're so cute. I think you can stack them up. Look at that. That's crazy. It's like a puzzle. So we started out with four fruit eggs and we got four squish of things here. The steam colors. Oh, these are so, so cute. They have the best smell. I wish you could smell them. They're so cold. Almost like a gel. Look at this green one. I love that. This smells the best. It smells like coconut. Super tropical. So clear. It's like a yellow liquid glass. And your pink one is a little different. But it's so, so stretchy. Let's make a party sandwich. Yeah. Very cute. I loved it. I love everything about this. These little eggs, squishiness, move along. Actually, Bubble, like before we move along, let's mix it together and make like a slime smoothie or whatever you call it. Look at that. That's so cool. I can like even twist it up and mix up all the colors. Oh no, we got the final squishy up and it is a Colleen homemade stress ball. It's got a lot going on. I see little Orbeez. I see some glitter, but what is that? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Oh, this thing is so, so squish. Bubble, this thing is like squishy maximum. It has maximum squishiness and glitter and like little green orbies or something. Pop it open. And here is a like tiny bowl so you don't make a mess for your final chop. Your final chop. Actually, forget the little bowl. I think we're gonna go with the explosion. Haven't done that in a while. Let's do it. put in that little balloon it was like a little white balloon it's got tons of golden glitter and these little fuzzy balls oh these legit look like my cat Rhonda's hair balls that she like throws up except these are beautiful and like rainbowy I think these are like unicorn poops or hair balls so bad we got these neon colored fuzzy balls they look like little cat hair balls so so weird and some albies little green ones with sparkles. So cute. Okay, let's wrap our head around what just popped out of this balloon because it's so weird but kind of cute at the same time. Look at it. That's nice. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like it a little bit. It's really cute. Tons of glitter. These things are pretty. The Orbeez look like little grapes, little green grapes. I like it. Anybody and everybody in their right mind would like this. It's super cool. It's super cute. It's colorful. It's like everything. Really. And these little furry things are just like so weird and pretty at the same time. If that's possible. Bubble, I'm just going to do it and like try to chop open one of these hairball things. See what's going on in there. Not too much. Just like super 
fuzzy. Ooh. Looks like troll hair now. That is literally troll hair. Well, guys, not much to say here. The insanity continues on my chopping block. I got a little bit of everything. I got some chopped up remotes. I got these beautiful keychains. I mixed all this together. Oh, look at that from those little eggs. It's beautiful. Why is this beautiful bubble? It's like an instant slime smoothie. You made an instant slime smoothie and it's so cute. I got a little of this blue slime. I got some of this. I got this bowl of these little fuzzy things. I actually liked everything, but I do have to say my favorite was the first one with these little keychains. They are so adorable. I've never seen anything like that. Oh yeah, well I loved everything except for the remote control. Super boring and like dangerous. And I did not like the Furby with like the poopy throw up inside. Super gross. Hope you enjoyed it guys and we are going to have so many more fun ones coming up in the show and if you want to subscribe to our channel just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day you guys. Bye.